So hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and let's talk about Mountain Lion. Well, I thought about it today because of the fact that WWDC was announced and a whole lot of developers are going to be going over to San Francisco to find out more about what's coming in the next version of the OS X. And uh, I've just been looking at it online on the Apple website and well, there's not an awful lot there. You've got Notepad as one of their items that have been listed and there's not much in that. There's reminders, well, I mean, there's plenty of apps that do that sort of thing anyway. Do we really need to have it embedded into the app, into the operating system? And then we've got um, Game Center. Well, I don't play many games, so I'm not too worried about that either. So iCloud was one of the things that was mentioned. And in the previous version, it was supposed to be that you could work on a document in the Mac, go and work on the same document over on the iPad or the iPhone afterwards, and you'd be able to continue where you left off. And that didn't work at least not when it was time to go and work it on the Mac anyway. They have some kludgy sort of system where you have to go and mess about dragging files in and out of a web page. So maybe they'll have that fixed and that'll be working. At the moment it does work with some applications and it should work with the iWork applications. Um, as an example, you can do it with Byword. So you can use Byword on the Mac and uh, do whatever you want to do with it. Go and close the application down, go and work on it on your um, iPad or your iPhone and carry on where you left off. Um, the message center, now that look, could be quite interesting. You can download a messages beta already and I tried it. Not many people were on the line there that I knew were using the same sort of thing and so I didn't use it again. So I've got it open now and I'll see if I can use it again between now and when the mountain line is due to come out and see if I can get a feel for it. And I kind of hope that Mountain Lion will be more enthused about than was Lion because there are an awful lot of people that have stayed with uh, Snow Leopard and uh, for some reason or other they don't like Lion. But I like Lion and the only thing I don't like about Lion I suppose would be the fact that there are one or two applications that have broken with the change to Lion. So there you go, we've got a few things to look forward to with Mac OS X Mountain Lion and uh, I'm kind of interested, so I'm, I should get it anyway and whatever it's, uh, whether it's much in it. Hopefully it's not going to be too expensive, I wouldn't like to have to pay a lot of money for it because it doesn't look like there's going to be a huge amount of stuff in there, but we'll see. Uh, and it's going to be towards the end of the summer, uh, it could be September, it could be the beginning of uh, October, who knows, we'll have to see. It depends on what problems they have between now and then in terms of getting all things ready, all their ducks in a row before they can get it out to us. So thanks very much for watching Mac 20 Questions and I'll talk to you again soon and uh, maybe you'd like to leave a few comments below and tell me what you think about Mountain Lion. Do subscribe to the Wizard Gold YouTube channel so that you know when the next videos are coming in for Amazing iPad, Mac 20 Questions or for Video Magical and keep up to date so you don't miss any. Bye bye now.